All right, so the first thing you want to do before checking three-phase power is making sure that the leads are in all the way. That's so important because if you have one sticking out like that and you go check the leads on a contactor, you might read zero when there's actually power there. So make sure these are in all the way. That's the first step. Now the other thing you might want to consider is a pair of electrical gloves just to keep you safe while you're working within a cabinet like this. Now, now that we've checked the meter leads, we're going to turn the meter onto volts. We're going to wait for it to power up. All right, now this is a three phase contactor. It's got three poles of power. It's got one, two, and three. To check three phase power, what we want to do is take our meter leads and go on the first and second leg, and we're reading 207. Then we want to jump across to the first and the third, 205.8 and then we want to go to the second and the third, 206.5. So that is how you check three-phase power. Make sure your meter leads are in, consider gloves, and go one, two, three.